camera rolling. Introduction. And hey, thanks for tuning back. God damn. Here. You ain't gonna wait for me to say action and nothing, huh? Oh, I will. Go on. No, I gotta get used to this shit. Jesus Christ. I'm this ready man. to roll, baby. <laughs> ready? You hang him up. Oh my god. You guys, you're slow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, that, you know what? That's starting to be true. Watch all of a sudden this bitch slap comes in. <laughs> hey. I, I gotta agree with you on that. Oh, shit. It ain't. It's supposed to be the other way around, but right now it's shaky in the world. <laughs> That's one thing about me. When I get home, my body lets me know it, and I am just feeling the pain. That's how I be. That's oh, crazy. Yeah. But when I'm out, I'm in the zone. Oh, I feel like an eighty-year-old man when I get. I lay down and have something to eat. You know, drink whatever, and, and then, then all of a sudden I'm like, you. Oh shit! <laughs> I can't walk. I'm going like this. I'm what? like. What the fuck? What the fuck? My mom, That's Dad? what happened to me literally all the time. Really? I go crazy when I'm out. Even when I'm working out, I go hard in the pain. Stop trying to make me feel better. Dude, this is... You can call my lady right now, and that's literally been my life. Call her. I'm telling you. That's literally what we talk about all the time. I fall hey. to pieces when I come home. Hey, T, your boy's talking smack. <laughs> yeah, he's full of shit. <laughs> Yeah, so shit is crazy. All right, you ready? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Hey, thanks for tuning in to American Garage TV. I'm your host, Jim, and we got a sneak peek on a bitch and ride. Want to see it? Follow <laughs> me. <laughs> Ta da! in the making, yeah. 1981 Corvette. Let's look at that paint job. Crazy. That is actually a two-stage PPG candy. It's not a traditional candy. It's got some burgundy wine in it, mixed in with a traditional candy apple red. Those mm. wheels are custom built uh, wheels from American Racing. Uh, the tires are from Nito, and, it, and they're custom fit to fit this vehicle. And then uh, what do you see what's under the hood? I mean, the whole car. This thing was a pile when we first got it. Um, right here in the rear uh, uh, right-hand quarter, uh, the fiberglass was all cracked up. Uh, the uh, front and rear bumpers never fit in it very well. Uh, the electrical was shot. Interior was nasty. The motor was blown. And of course, like anything else, the guy had a uh, a desire to acquire this particular car and he found one and he paid some money for it but everything else was shit Jeez. we just took in another one right now to the truck behind you and supposedly it was a 33 stroker we ran the numbers it's a 327 and the thing looks like a 1968 block and i don't know over a million miles it's off by <laughs> 55 uh, foot pounds and they they screwed them Jeez. And it happens. But anyways, this one's come a long way. We got wheelwood brakes. Uh, we went with the uh, Global West suspension. Man, look at the color, color coming one. out. Oh my goodness, look at the sun. Starting and, to make you know, that thing glow. When I first priced out for the headers and the side pipes, yeah. he's like, hey Jim, you know, um, don't they make them in stainless? I'm like, yeah, for a stainless cost. He's like, yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> so like I said, three years in the making, and it's been a, a love, passion, desire. Uh, uh, it's a relationship, like a marriage. And the customer would come back and, hey, Jim, what do you think of this? And we go back to him, hey, look at this bucket, a beep. And what do you want to do? Hey, let's fix that. Hey, what do you think of this? Can we incorporate? Is it too late? No, let's do it right now, baby. And yeah. that's what we did. So after three plus years, she's... Um, She's straight up bitching rides. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so, she look good. So, let me um, open. All brand new interior. 
It's got a 4L60E transmission, overdrive, tilt, flaming river. Oh Everything in this interior, just about every nut and bolt has been removed and replaced. This looks good. It's not only a high-end restoration, it's a custom mod. Jeez, I love the butter. You know, that's my thing, tan. Yeah, I call camel. it butter. I call it butter. Camel. Well, GM will probably argue to defer with you. Hey, I man, they're going to have to argue me. Anything with these brown tones and all that is butter, baby. All butter, baby. And that's the 1981 uh, uh, logo. Every okay. year they changed. This particular model, actually this style started in 68, but this particular series, uh, C3 started um, 78 to 82. Okay. Mm -hmm. Man, it's coming along. Some of the things like this, this was uh, both the customer and myself. The original one, they were nasty and dirty. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, even though if we send there's a company out, there's a few of them on the market that'll refurbish these, but these are actually repops, but the material is produced in China. And unfortunately, it was more of a gold color rather than the tan I like it though. back in the day. You can't even get it unless it's original. And of course, you're gonna have, you know, 40, 50 years of wear. So yeah. it won't look like back in the day. So you just have to settle on what you have. And unfortunately, we couldn't send that out to tint it. Yeah. Um, I think the, you know, the, the polyester and the nylon that's in there, it's really, it's, it's, yeah, you, can, you can dye it, but it's not, um, if you understand dyeing and tinting, it's not, it's not like paint, it's not opaque. It, it blends, it bleeds in, it's transparent. So the inner color will pop out. So okay. we had to leave them that way. So we, we're about ready to send this in to, we're going to do a road test first, make sure we've ironed, we've been working on the bugs and we're going to make sure that she's drivable, she's safe. And the guys around the corner um, that we work with and he understands these old cars. It's our alignment shop. Hey Rick, if you're listening, I'm going to come see you buddy real <laughs> soon. Um, and they've been waiting on us too. When's Jim going to get here? So, <laughs> Want to see under the hood? Oh, yeah. I see the magic. Come bang. on, man. Got to see heart. under the hood. First of all, this hood is fire. I love the shape of it. Didn't somebody argue and say the heart is at the engine? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude, oh, my. Uh, hush I, your mouth. Make sure y'all get on them in the comments when they say something crazy. Okay? Jeez. The heart is at the engine. Jesus. Okay. Now. With a paint job and a build like this, you gotta have something special under the hood. Yes. Yeah, now, of course, this customer wants to cruise, but we did give him a little bit of a performance. So, here we go. You ready? Oh. Oh. Disgusting. That is gross. You can just you can just eat right off oh, of it. Oh, that's so nasty. Just okay. cut your food right here, you know? Ooh, look at them valve covers. Corvette. I love the yes. cleaner. That's it's, the nostalgic uh, font on the Corvette. Yeah, We've fire. got the Corvette flags. Fire. So is that k and filter? Uh, no, that's actually Billet Specialties. Okay. Billet and uh, another company out there do a lot of uh, Billet uh, products like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the actual filter is by them also. The, uh, the, this, this no, part. actually, that's farmed out from KN. Okay, that's what I, I was talking I about. K &N. Yeah, KN. But um, we have another one through uh, Eddie Motorsports. Okay. Uh, and of course, CVF Racing. We we install these religiously, it and then this great. is Champion Cooling Systems right here. You guys gotta start picking up the phone and you know selling me some money now. Okay, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> no, anyways. Um, so we get this in basically two ver. They've got all kinds, but we get this in two variations. Like right here, I just found a small bug. Not that I want to put. Uh, uh, something here to keep this from chafing. Yeah, but we're gonna need to because this is gonna go into here It's gonna damage the uh, surface of here, and it's gonna ruin your hose Okay, and for of course this ain't gonna clock any better and it's not gonna go up So look I at that hood up But uh, we either get the bling the polished 
and you can have them clear coated or we get the black ball milled. And ball milled, you see this chamfer here? Yes. They reveal that after they do the plating. It's kind of like a matte black. And it looks nice too if you're going for that look. Yeah. In fact, that's exactly what we're doing on the 37 Plymouth. Nice. Now what's the serpentine set, uh, setup called? Like who is it's it by? It's a serpentine kit. CVF Racing. CVF Racing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Fire. Fire. I lost count how many of these things we installed. They're affordable. I mean, it's a nice product. Seven rib belt. Mm. Uh, there's some other manufacturers, and, you know, they're pretty proud of their stuff. They make some nice stuff. Oh, my God. Those headers are beautiful. Yeah, and oh. fortunately, when they heat up, they're, they're going to turn gold. That is beautiful. <laughs> it's almost like a gold plate. You know what I'm saying. That is sick. You might as well with the price tag. Yeah, that is sick. So... Big boy breaks. We, we won't discuss how much he's got into this, but yeah, it's up gonna bust a few piggy banks. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, this is. But gorgeous. you know what? This is what he wants. This is uh, this is Americana, baby. I mean, geez, this is his retirement. This is his. Well, this is gonna be his other wife. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, it looks so fire with the hood up too. And she's sexy. It's so sexy. Sexy, baby. How, how is it? Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. You don't need a sound bite for that. I no. Oh, I got, detective, I got a little Arnold. I got a little Arnold in <laughs> It's got that custom feel with the hood, too. You know, that's one thing cool they did that's with this car. It's actually an aftermarket, and it's fiberglass. And if you've ever worked with fiberglass, it's it's a different ball game and you got to have a lot of patience yeah but um it looks so good it um it looks yeah, so I good I, I met this gentleman on ebay him and his father actually popped those and they do amongst a few other things oh man so, look at that thing we're almost done with this got a few more bugs to work out like mm -hmm. i said get into the alignment and then test and tune i think we're we're going to road test it to see how we're doing on the tune. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's like the process of a dyno where you, you just keep, you know, keep changing, it until tweaking, you, yeah. hit the road, yeah. tweak it, hit the road. Sometimes you might tweak it again and all of a sudden, wait, you know what? I kind of hindered our road performance. So you just, as long as you're writing down your information, just go back. Mm -hmm. So other than that, there is one guy I used to use. But unfortunately, it's 2,300 miles away. Sheesh. Harf. It's one of Boyd Coddington's old friends. Hey, man. If y'all like this type of stuff, what they got to do? Hey, you got to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Oh, my God. We appreciate your support. Oh, my God. And if you don't, <laughs> I'm going to come down there. <laughs> and my boy behind the camera is going to come visit you. Yes, sir. <laughs> And he's going to whip out his checkbook. Oh, man. <laughs> Cut you a check. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to drive it. We tried it yesterday, and all of a sudden we hear this, stop me. Oh, so man. We, we shut her down, and we, you know, we want to be safe. Yeah. I think we need a little more fluid. We've got a, I think it's a four-quart um, extent, uh, um, additional aftermarket uh, pan on the transmission okay i think in general with the torque converter factory is about 12 quarts so with the addition of the four extra quarts and don't forget all the lines the trans lines and going into a specific uh trans cooler you got at least another quart or two there so we just kept adding and adding and adding and again we're just working out all the bugs so it's there's a lot of TLC push tug pull until you get that sweet spot mm -hmm. and that's it set it forget it and don't try to fix it yeah. you're done <laughs> and then just go out and hit the road 1981 Corvette, Corvette. Stingray Stingray that's right T top just like the price Ooh, I know that's thing oh yeah oh my god definitely stay so amen next week uh, if you join us we're going to be hooking up the nos and no <laughs> i'm just kidding so, anyway. so yeah y'all almost there just got to add the chrome and trimmings and just getting it tuned up to to hit that road and get up out of here you know what i was just thinking 
too bad it wasn't yesterday. Man, the sun was shining. Yeah, it's going to storm. It's literally supposed to storm it, bad today. It, I don't know. It's like, uh, I don't know, father whatever weatherman up there is just screwing with us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's real spooky right now. It's super I'm cloudy. Some sunshine. Man. 82, 84. Psych! Man. Rain. Rain. 42 or, in the morning. Man. It, yeah, it was like 38, 42 this morning. It's crazy. At like 637. And then like yesterday was similar. Same thing. And then it shot up to like 80. I think when I left, I did a U-turn. No, no sooner it hit the main road, I was displaying 87. <sighs> I'm like, yeah. Yeah, baby. And... It just brought back that California sun. Yeah. That's the one thing I miss. That yeah. and the ocean. Well, you and brought California with you. And now you brought Cali to, uh, to Atlanta. Got the memories and stuff, but man, I just, I don't know, might be taking a cruise to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> so there y'all have it, man. Comment down Spe below. Speaking of the wife, hey, listen, I'm busy. I got to go on a cruise and that's the it. That's that. <laughs> oh yeah, right. You know damn well. You sound way I too. I tell that woman what I want. To do. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy! <laughs> yes, dear. <laughs> hey, make sure y'all go, like sure go to our Instagram also. Like the page, follow, and we need them subscribers up. So we got a lot of people that's viewing the videos right now, and they not subscribing. So please make sure you subscribe. It's gonna help the channel out and help us bring new content. So we gotta keep this going. Oh, keep it up. I got to take some pictures. All right. Hey, Instagram, Jim's underscore speed underscore shop. There you go. There we're you on go. on Facebook as well. Yep. And American course, Car Garage. We're on YouTube. Yes, American sir. Garage TV. American Garage TV. So make sure y'all like us, man. Comment. Talk y'all stuff. Let us know what's what. And if you got a car you want to bring down and get some camera time, hey, come spend some money with us, man. We make it happen. Spend some money. Oh, look, and this something else too. Down. Let's go. What else we need? We also need people to come that's looking for a job that's qualified. So we're looking for qualified people. <laughs> <laughs> They're out there? The no, I, yeah. Uh, you know, we just filled one position and he's working out great. And yeah. we're thankful. We actually met him through a new client. Our K10 back, a buddy back there. Yeah. So, Nick, and if you're watching, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Jim has been working out great. Jim number two. Yeah, he's dope. He's pretty dope. <laughs> so what, what type of person do you think we need right now? Like specifically, we was to bring somebody else um, in. Probably 38, 26, 24, you know, can uh, work a pole. And, oh, no, I'm oh sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my uh, God. You know, we, we're always looking for good techs, good people, uh, mechanics, body fabrication custom welding everything that goes into the genre of what we do mm -hmm. that's what we're looking for so there you have it man please come in if you got a dope resume like a real resume and you qualified you one of these boys that actually went to school or maybe you just grew up in a shop and you got some serious skills come down we might give you an opportunity man you mean like, you know, they graduated two years ago from high school and then um, they worked at Waffle House. That's exactly what I don't mean. See, don't and listen to Jim. They're right looking no. for a, no. a lead no. for paint and body. <laughs> hey, I get it all the time. And I, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. We don't need that. So look, y'all, I know it's a lot of y'all that's dreaming exactly of being around the cars. Need. We don't need that. We need somebody who really qualify, who play with this stuff. Look at this stuff. This is not cheap. We talking about hundreds of thousands playing this this type of this, you see what I'm saying? Like this stuff costs. Look, let's see how you treating the car. So just imagine we can't have nobody around here that don't know what they doing with the <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? With this type of sexiness, we need somebody to come in that's got some talent that's looking to put in the hours. You know that understands the care of these type of cars because it does take a lot of care. You can't just come and do anything to these type of cars. You can't just do what you want to do. It's specifications that comes along with these type of vehicles. So, so I, you know. I was wondering what you're doing this weekend because we're going to go off-roading. Oh, my. Yeah. That would be tough. <laughs> that would be tough. Not going to happen. Yeah, we got some paddle tires that will go in the back. No, my God. Sure. Not going to happen. No, no, it's not going to happen. Oh, see, look. It looked like hey, it's about you know to happen. What? I do have to do one shout-out. 
And the greatest thank you of all mm -hmm. is his truly. Oh. Thank you, Jimbo. Yeah, the for owner, sure. The car owner. For sure. Thank you for the honor and the privilege to work on your baby. Yeah. Seriously. I mean, yeah. this is his boy, his kid, his firstborn family. Yeah. That's what this stuff is. And that's what these cars, I mean, they, they're, it, they just adorn themselves mm -hmm. uh, like as if it was their their uh, flesh and blood. Yeah. And uh, you have to be a gearhead and be, you know, there's some people that'll come here and, you know, I'll mention that to them and then they'll kind of chuckle and go, hey, you know what? I never thought about that. You're right. And I'm like, yeah, but to get it. Yeah. And that's exactly what these vehicles represent. Yeah. So, and it could be for any reason. Uh, my grand, like the pickup over there, my grandpa owned it. You know, he's long since passed away. Been sitting in the backyard for 20 years. Yeah. My grandmother wouldn't let it go. And finally she sold, sold it to me. And I had to bring it back to life to share it with my son. Yeah. And that he is. That he's done. Um, this one here, he had a passion for this car. I guess he had one similar in high school. Found this. It was a wreck. And of course... He ain't a wreck anymore. Yeah. So um, those are just a few ideas or some examples of what people are thinking. Yeah. And what these really truly mean to them. Yeah. So and again, it's an honor and a blessing to be able to put these together. Yeah. I think Chip once said, "It's the customer and the budget that make us." <laughs> Straight and up. So we invite you. So the sheik from Dubai. We. We'll roll out the red carpet. <laughs> no, anyway, seriously, I, you know what, I, I enjoy and I love what I do. And uh, again, this is my second wife, but um, this is it, man. This is my life. And as long as I'm here on this planet, my mission is to keep these old birds alive and bring your dreams to fruition. So, Dope. anyways, again, hey, listen, I got to go. But I want to thank you for tuning in. Again, I'm Jim, your host. You're watching American Garage TV. And we do so appreciate your love, support. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And tune in for another exciting episode like this. And again, don't forget to comment. Whatever you have up in that mind you want to see or in the corner of your eye, go ahead and express it and let us know. Our duty here is to bring you fun, enjoyment, and the excitement that we share here at Jim's Speed Shop and fulfill your dreams and desires. So thanks again. All right, I'm ready to, I'm ready to rip this thing. Yeah, here. man. Can we hear it before we go? Sure. Uh-oh. Sweet. Yes, sir. All right. Let's see if she pumps Before right the credits, y'all, let's see. There we, there we go. Steering wheel. The lock. Ooh. Listen to that thing. Ooh, ooh. Let me get out of here. Y'all hear that? We actually have baffles for it. We left them out for now. So you can get basket on the Yeah. Yes, sir. The boat is turning to everything. That's it, y'all. Yeah, and we gonna sign out like that. Stay tuned, man. <laughs>